Hey, this is Steve with RV to Cycle. Today we're going to do a little maintenance on the ProMaster van, the Travado. We're going to change the air filter. There's actually two air filters on here so there's one for cabin air which is here I've already changed that so if you are interested in how to do that I'm gonna put a link to a video done by Stephanie and James of the fit RV they'll show you how to do this um, this one they didn't cover so what you're gonna need, you're gonna need one tool you're gonna need a screwdriver this is just a regular flat blade screwdriver and this is about six inches long if you get much longer than that you're gonna have trouble getting to the bands so there are two pipe clamps if you will one here and then there's another one and another one right back here and you can see there's not a lot of room to work there and there's even less room down here so you want to loosen this pipe clamp which i've already done i cheated and then this one why are you doing both of them well we have to do them both because to get and you just loosen them don't take them all the way off you just loosen them put this back in my tool belt here see my high price tool belt now, once you've got them loosened, this one you're going to pull off, and the back one is loosened so that when you pull this off, you can turn it and get it out of the way. So, literally, you just jiggle, turn it up, rotate this guy. And now, here's our filter. We are going to have to take this off, so I loosen the clamp some more. comes off fairly easily. I think there's a housing. Yeah, there is a housing. The filter's inside the uh -huh. housing. Okay. okay, so there's four. So there's one, two, three. Where's the fourth one? Back here. Right back here? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to loosen those guys up. bigger than the one that's in there. It's turning, but it's just not more easily. So much for the short one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to go for the big guns. <laughs> There's just not a lot of room there, and it's so much easier to have it up here. I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and you got room. I got room to turn my little hands. I might need to go to a different size <laughs> So we started out needing two. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> well, different sizes. Oh, different length. That's funny. So once we get them all loose, then we're just going to take this whole thing, we're going to take this whole top off. And out comes the filter. So it's not horribly dirty, but it's definitely dirty. You can see the dirt in between the... Yeah, and that's been out in West Texas. C1704. Maybe we Five, three, one, two, zero, nine, zero, six. That's what that is. So that's the part number that we're using. This guy. Well, 
and I will put a link in the description below. This has these little feet on it and the little feet go down there and it fits just right. So when you put this in here, you kind of have to jockey it a little bit to make sure you have those feet really in there where they go. So you know you've got it centered and you will be able to tell, you can feel it. So now we're gonna put this guy in. These two tabs are gonna go on either side of the bracket which holds right here. The tabs go one on each side of that. So that's how you know you got it oriented properly. And you do want to just double check, make sure that you have the tabs where they go. Now, this, you're going to have to, um, you may have to work the filter in to get this properly seated. And that's by design. You want a good, tight seal between the filter housing, its components, and I'm going to give this a couple of turns just so I have at least one point that I know it's in the appropriate place. Feels like that one's in a good spot. How about this guy over here? So you kind of have to feel some of these things just to make sure that you're in the right place. The long one. I'm just gonna give it a few turns just to make sure that we're in the right spot. Looks like that's seated properly. There we go. Alright, and this will be the last one over here. I need to get it started. Bernie can breathe, cleaned out his sinuses. <laughs> okay, so now we got those screws in. Now we're going to put this guy back on. So. We're gonna kind of go in reverse. So we'll put this on at the back first. It's like, it's like trying to screw two slinkies together. <laughs> <laughs> this part moves and this part squishes. I think I'm gonna... Oh, so you may have to get it on there and then orient it. Oh yeah, that's no question about that. But I want to get it you need to. on there as much as I can. I can stick my hand in there and hold on and push all at the same time. You, you know, the top, Still not far enough yeah, back. The, the top is not on. You got the bottom on just fine. Yep. And now the whole thing gets turned. Uh, is it on? We're going to find no. out pretty quick. And I have succeeded. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Is Ooh, that one about on? about to lose my screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to measure this and tell you how long this <laughs> screwdriver is. <laughs> I'm going to tell you one thing, it's a whole lot easier to do it with this long one than it is with that little short one. <laughs> I kept hitting my hand on this and on this hose. Now you don't want to over tighten it because you'll deform some things. Now this guy here, the long screwdriver will not work. Is that on there where it needs to be? Yeah. It is. All the way around? Yep. Okay. All the way. All the way. 
All the way, Scooby Doo. Well, you don't want to film me screwing it the whole time, do oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, action. <laughs> That's it for today, folks. Hope you got some benefit out of this or found it entertaining, if nothing else. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Make it easier for other people to find it. <laughs> and the clown is behind the camera.